I think quite interesting. Uh, uh, there was a poll being run in parallel in terms of, um, I think it was just one question, which is what is hybrided line? And then there's been four possible answers. I mean, obviously with one correct answer, and uh, I think it's five. Well, the first possible answer was limestone with added water, and then there was also calcium oxide. There was also a sedimentary calcium forming on the seabed. There was also calcium carbonate and uh, calcium hydroxide. So then I just wanna put this question to Kastin then as part of giving our audience what is the correct answer, Kastin, what is a rated line? Then at least you can have an opportunity to, okay. to offer some guidance Good. based on the poll that Elmin has been running in parallel. Great, thanks. Yeah, well, hydrated lime is the correct answer to, to uh, uh, that. It's calcium hydroxide. And, and if we look at the little triangle that you've actually got on your screen as well there, the next step after uh, quick lime is to hydrate the lime. And it's another process that happens. And again, the hydrated lime has a specific application for certain customers. Now, I'm going to speak specifically about dry hydrated lime powder. Um, if you put additional water with it, then you get to what we call the milk of lime or your lime slurry, which you can produce out of quick lime or out of hydrated lime. But effectively, the process is to, in a, in a mechanic or a, a process environment, add just enough water to the, to the quick lime. Uh, and it's a chemical reaction, effectively, that absorbs the, the water into its chemical structure. And you go from calcium oxide, which is CaO, to calcium hydroxide, which is CaOH2. So one oxygen comes from the quick lime, and the other uh, oxygen basically comes from the water, and you put the hydrogen in there as well. Um, and if you get that ratio right, it's an exothermic reaction, and, and there are safety issues with that, obviously, with that process. Um, it, it drives off quite a bit of heat, um, but effectively it comes out dry on the other side. And, and that was the one thing that I just found majorly fascinating in the process. You add water to a product and it comes out dry the other end again. But it's purely that chemical process. Um, and in the process now, what happens as well is the hydro, the, the quick lime actually expands as well as it as it hydrates. So um, the bulk density is important, and that'll come in on the cost that we may discuss a bit later on. Effectively, the volume increases by about double. So if you're transporting one ton of quick lime um, and you want to transport the same amount of lime as hydrated lime, you'd have to transport two cubic meters each lead because the bulk density is roughly half of that of quick lime. So one cubic meter of quick lime would typically weigh about 1,000 kilograms, one ton. One cubic meter of hydrated lime, somewhere between 350 and 600 kilograms, somewhere around there. So you'll see that the volume increases quite substantially. Uh, and, and that comes in then gives you the issues with the transport of the product in there. But effectively, the, the hydration process is done on a commercial uh, scale as well. So you run that through a hydrator, and it's effectively a mixing uh, device that mixes the water that you spray in in a, in a metered uh, manner. You know what your feed rate into the unit is in terms of the product, and you know your water feed rate in, and out of the end comes a warm, dry, hydrated lime. And that is then distributed to various customers in, in that form if they want it. Uh, that's effectively the process, please. 